Hello, I'm just hanging out in my workshop on a Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, and I'm going to go ahead and put a top coat on on this um, cedar chest that I'm working on. So if you want to hang out with me for a little bit, I am using this uh, Krylon chalky finish sealing wax, which is more like a poly than it is a wax um, to, to top coat this. So. I found this is one of my favorites. So if you're here and watching, uh, leave a message. Let's chat. Otherwise, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna get this done. This is the last step on this chest that I am working on, and um, and then it's done and ready to go. If you're another creative and you want to join my live, feel free to, to make a request and uh, we can chat as I'm sealing this piece. This is, like I said, the last step on this um, steampunk style cedar chest that, I'm, that I've been working on for quite a while now. So... using the uh, angle of the lights to make sure that I've got all the spots and spaces, but I'm going to add a second coat anyway, so anything I miss, I can go back and do it with the second coat. Um, if you're watching, go ahead and, and uh, add some comments, ask some questions. Just um, down in my workshop working and decided to hit the live button in case anyone wanted to join me. So I'm not down here all alone. Watch out, Ezra. The grapes. Oh, you you found the grapes. Okay, that's good. Yep, it's in a bag. Yes, they were. I bought those for you. So if you're just joining, I am uh, I am sealing this 
chest that I've been working on all week long. And got the back done so that I can now turn it around and work on it. Make sure I work on the side first. It's gonna make a lot of noise, so if you're following, sorry about the noise. It's kind of nice having this on a table so that I'm not leaning down and uh, it's easier to work on it when it's up here. So if you're just joining, I'm sealing, I'm sealing it with this Krylon chalky finish sealing wax, which is more like a poly versus a wax uh, in the, in how it dries and how it brushes on. And I'm this is the last step on this chest that I've been working on. So push it over a little bit. Here you can see on the end here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. But I'm just down here working on a Sunday and decided to go live to see if anybody wanted to keep me company. I painted this. If you're familiar with Dixie Bell, I painted it with Dixie Bell. Uh, two different colors. Um, caviar and fluff, which is why you see I blended it, and which is why it's mostly gray. I wanted to get a blended, kind of a smoky, Old world steampunk type finish on this. And this is the last step that I do. Actually, I'll put on two coats. This is the first coat. And then I'll put a second coat on as well. I did clear wax it because I used some dark wax on it to give it a little more dimension also. So it's gonna be well protected. But if somebody's using it in their entryway or their mudroom, they're not going to need to worry about, about the finish coming off. I'm going to kind of use the lights to see where I see where I'm missing some wax. If you're watching, go ahead and say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. Whether or not you uh, refinish furniture or if you do something else creative or if you just enjoy watching um, people do creative things. One of the things I like about this particular top coat is even though it behaves like a poly, it's got a lot more forgiveness in how you apply it versus a poly. So I don't have to be super worried. I don't have to be super worried about brush strokes or anything like that. Pretty much self levels. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to leave that up for right now. Let that dry a little bit. But just hanging out in my basement. Well, there was some dark wax there. A little, a little extra.
So the other thing I did with this too, if you can see, was these are Dixie Bell transfers that I applied as well. So um, that's what that is on there. These straps were original to the trunk and I wanted to find a style that would utilize them in their patinaed aged look. I didn't want to clean those up or anything. So I wanted to work with the condition of the trunk instead of working against the condition of the trunk. So there's a lot of bumps and lumps and scratches that I left natural and did not and did not fix them up. It did have a broken leg. I did fix that because you know you can't use it if it's got a broken leg. But otherwise I wanted to go ahead and keep it to its original beat up condition and I thought this was the this is the best way to do that and I had the transfer from Dixie Bell and I thought it would be perfect on this trunk so that's why I went ahead with this particular finish So keep you moving along here. So Lynn, if you're still watching, um, do you refinish furniture or do you do anything crafty or if you want to say hi and where you're watching from. And if you don't want to, that's fine too. I'm just going to be on here for a short period of time, just getting this sealed. Kind of using the overhead lights to uh, get at an angle to see to make sure I've covered all of the area of it. I use Dixie Bell paint. So what you see on here is Dixie Bell caviar, chalk paint and um, fluff, which is their black and their white. And um, I put some clear wax down first and then I went ahead and went in with some dark wax. And if you know anything about waxes or Dixie Bell, um, Dixie Bell's wax is all water based. So that's why I'm able to also add a top coat on it. If you're doing, if you're using a If you're using um, a um, oil-based top coat, then it, it won't work. So uh, One of the neat things about this is just because of its age, I decided, you know, I wasn't going to make it look 100% uh, new and I was just going to work right along with its, um, with its current condition instead of working against that. So um, I thought this would be the perfect way to do that. And that's why I decided to go that way.
So if you're here, you can say hi. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep working. Um, actually, this is a really fast project. It doesn't take long at all to get a top coat on. And uh, I see. I'm going to have to kind of work off screen here. Maybe wait for this to dry a little bit to put the lid down before I can do the top as well. I've got the top. Um, move my move this a little bit. Bring it up. You can kind of see it a little better. You can see the the transfers that I put on, that's the steampunk transfer from Dixie Bell. And um, I really like it on this particular piece. So let's see if I can see if I can drop this lid here without making any marks. It sits just a little bit, kind of. You know what? I think I'll put. I will put this here and hold it. Yeah. I'll try a sponge instead. There we go. Just enough to keep it off the stuff that I've already finished. And then you should be able to see that. And I'm working on the top. Even though I've got the clear wax and the dark wax on here already for, uh, well, I put the clear wax on so that when I put the dark wax on, if I didn't like the way it was looking, I could uh, wipe it back easier. But even with that wax, I still, I still like to seal it with a top coat to give it extra protection so that I know that that finish is not going to wear off. Hopefully you can kind of you can kind of see what I'm doing. It's a little bit difficult. I can't get my tread uh, my my ring light higher, my tripod. So I think that might be as high as it goes. I need to put it on a surface in order to get it to go higher. There's some really cool texture on the top of this um, that I went ahead and accented and highlighted. Uh, there's different, uh, I wouldn't call them scratches, but more like dent marks and whatnot, which were probably original to the piece and in its original finish. So distressing marks that the factory adds. Even even way back when, because this has the wood wheels, so this one, this is definitely vintage, vintage cedar trunk. But uh, I pretty much saved it from the landfill, so I think that's a, a good deal. So you can kind of, yeah, you can see in the camera there, you can see the difference between what's done and what's not, even though this will... This doesn't really, this it's about like a satin. It says it's low gloss, so I would compare it to a satin top coat to the, um, you know, for how the, the sheen will be when it's all done. Not super shiny, um, like a gloss, but it's definitely not flat. I 
hazards of long hair is it's constantly getting in paint <laughs> and different things when I lean over. But when I look at it at an angle, it's the best way for me to see where I have applied it and, and maybe some of the spots that it's missing. One of the tricks about this top coat is, um, is you can really, you can kind of put some muscle into it, but then I always try to come back and just do long um, the length of the piece um, so that I'm not having all of these, you know, individual short um, strokes and the brush strokes in it. And most of the time that's just, I am using kind of a light hand. It's only when I really want to move it, if it's especially heavy in a particular spot. And that's when, that's when I uh, will uh, use a heavier hand. But as I mentioned, this doesn't take very long, so I'm almost done. I've only got one side after I finish this top. Once I have this sealed, I'll let it dry. I'll probably let it dry for several, well, I may not, uh, you know what, I'll probably let it dry for 24 hours. Tomorrow's Monday, I have to work, so I will let it dry overnight, and then tomorrow night, I'll come back down here, and I will put on a second coat. And then it will be done. There might be a little bit of cleanup on the straps that I have to do, potentially, but only um, only just a little bit of extra paint, stray paint that got added. So um, I'm gonna put this lid back up again so I can get the sides. So if you're just watching or just jumped on, I am using Krylon. It's called the Krylon Chalky Finish Clear Sealing Wax. And it is, even though it says wax, it is more like a poly. It's um, thicker than like applying a poly, uh, but it dries rock hard, you know, rock hard. Um, it is, I believe, water resistant, and it's just a really great, I have found it to be a really great 
top coat for sealing all the painted pieces that I do. And it's very forgiving. Um, I would never be able to, if I was using a poly, whether that's Dixie Bell, Satin Clear Coat, or Minwax, Poly, um, you have much less workability time. You just, you really got to wipe it on and you can't go back over it again. And this, I have a, a much longer time to um, make sure I've got it. I've got it smooth. Although pretty much self levels as well. So even if I see a brush stroke, that will level itself out. But I would never be able to brush poly on like this. And wax is a totally different application as well. So it doesn't really apply like wax. You do not wipe it back off again. You leave it on and it dries. A, a wax, you've got to turn around and buff it. This you do not need to buff. So that is why this is one of my favorite, my favorite top coats. I just buy it. Um, well, I personally buy it at Lowe's in my local Lowe's. Uh, so probably a big box store, whoever, you know, whoever in your area, whoever your big box store is in your area. Menards does not carry it. Um, I wish they did because I've got one of those really super close. I've got to go much farther away to get to a Lowe's. So that's it. So there is the first coat of, um, of this Krylon chalky finish clear sealing wax. It is an interior clear sealing wax. So, oh, yeah, that, that kind of stuck. So, well, that's it. That's all I have today. Uh, if you're just joining me or um, not. Uh, so, um, that's all I have for today. You can catch me. I'll go live again at another time. Um, but I just wanted to uh, see if anyone wanted to keep me company. So thanks for watching.